Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about a figure that not a lot of people might not know about. It's the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Basic Proceratosaurus. So before we jump into the review for this figure, if you're liking the channel, I'd just like to remind everyone just to hit that subscribe button just below the screen. Each subscription helps the channel out tremendously and I will greatly appreciate it. So getting back to this figure, this Proceratosaurus is part of the basic assortment. And the basic assortment isn't part of the Jurassic World mainline, like the dual attacks, the attack packs and savage strikes and whatnot. This is more of a budget line. And what I mean by budget line is that these figures, they are like upscale versions of some of the other figures in the line, but they just have basic, basic articulation and paint applications. And they usually retail for about $9.99, and they're pretty good sized figures. This is actually my first basic figure. And the cool thing about this Proceratosaurus is that this figure was a total surprise to most collectors. When, and the story of how it got discovered was pretty cool. So a collector on one of the Facebook pages actually ordered two of the Proceratosaurus attack packs from Amazon when they were up for pre-order. His order shipped, he gets his box, and he opens it up and he finds two of these basic Proceratosaurus in it. And that is the first time that a lot of us found out that this figure actually existed. And it finally went up for order on Amazon about a week ago and that's how I got mine. I will leave a link in the description if you want to order yours. Right As of right now, at the time of this video, it is temporary on the stock, but you still have the option to order it and hopefully you'll get yours when they get more stock in. So the basic line, you really don't find it too much in stores. Uh, I've only seen it offered online on Amazon and I've seen it in Kohl's and those are really the only two places I could think of in the US that I've seen this figure. If anyone else has any more information of where this basic line has popped up for sale in stores, just let me know in the comment section. So let's go over the packaging quick before we crack this figure open. As you can see, it comes in a fully enclosed box with a window where you can see the face of the Proceratosaurus. You've got your Jurassic World logo, you've got T-Rex, you've got the Dino Rivals logo, name of the dinosaur, Proceratosaurus. This is the side of the box. And here is the back of the box with some other basic figures in the set. I've seen the Pachycephalosaurus and the Velociraptor at Kohl's. I've never seen the Dilophosaurus. I know they have an Owen, a Pteranodon, and a Blue. And I think an Indoraptor, I'm not sure. I really don't pay too much attention to the basic line. This is the only figure that caught my attention. And that is pretty much it for the box other than this tab for the hang on the peg. So with the box comparisons out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what all the fuss is about. And here is the Proceratosaurus out of the box. You can see there is some assembly. It's held in by these strings right here. So let's clip them out and get this figure out of its box fully. And there is some assembly. You just have to stick the tail in here and it will click into place. Let me see. I'm fighting. There we go. And that is it. That is all you need to do is just give it a nice hard push and that tail will click right in. And here is the Proceratosaurus fully assembled. And I have to say right off the bat, this figure is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. So let's get a couple quick measurements. This figure is just a here over 12 inches long from the tip of the tail to the snout and just under seven inches to the top of the horn. So for $9.99, that's a heck of a price for a figure that is bigger than most of the dual attack figures and is probably somewhere in the same size as some of the mega dual attack figures. As you can see, the paint scheme is very simple on this. The figure is primarily molded in this whitish yellow plastic it just has a dark blue paint application along the back and on top of the head and the red on the crest right here is actually a separate molded piece of plastic the eyes are painted orange and 
that is it for paint detail. It just has a little bit of that spray paint flecking look that you see on some of the other figures. You can see a little bit of it on the claws, but it pretty much covers the entire body. Get a good look at that head sculpt. Let me just move it a little bit closer and get it in the light. And you can see what I'm talking about right here. The whole top of the head is just a separate molded piece of plastic. The jaw is not articulated at all. The teeth are sculpted along the side. They are not painted. The arms are articulated. They can rotate forwards and backwards. And as with most Jurassic World figures, the toe claws and hand claws are not painted. The legs can rotate about this far back. And just a here forward. The ankles do have a rotation which helps a lot with stability with this figure and since the tail you have to click it in it does have it can rotate and pivot side to side and up and down and since this is a basic figure there is no scan code on the bottom of this figure since it is not part of the main line you know I have to say for a budget figure this is a really nice looking sculpt there's a lot of nice molded detail on the head a lot of scales along the neck arms body legs pretty much all the way down the tail yeah this is a really really cool figure that i did not know about until this thing just randomly popped up in that person's uh amazon delivery and i would like to give a shout out to my friend scott for giving me the heads up to order this thing because I there's no way I would have known about this unless he told me because this just randomly popped up on Amazon so thank you Scott as always for giving me a heads up so let's do a few comparisons to show you really how big this figure really is so first up would be the obvious comparisons here it is with the attack pack pro ceratosaurus so if you're doing a setup on your shelf, you can use this basic figure maybe as one of the parents and the attack packs. As some of the hatchlings, I think these look really, really nice together. And next up, a lot of people have said that the attack pack Solaris shares a similar color scheme, but you can see the Solaris is mostly a white color compared to this yellowish white. But I do see some of the similarities with the, the red on the head. Same on the Solaris and that blue back pattern. And here it is with a Savage Strike Velociraptor. And here it is with the Savage Strike Dilophosaurus. And here it is with some of the dual attack figures here it is with the new the pseudo ceratops and you can just see really how big this figure is it absolutely towers over this $15 dual attack the pseudo ceratops and here it is with the concave eater repaint And last but not least, here it is with the big girl on the block, the Indominus Rex. And, you know, most of the figures I compare next to the Indominus Rex, she absolutely towers over them. But you can see this uh, Pro Ceratosaurus is a really good size figure compared next to the Indominus Rex. So, final thoughts on this figure. I think this figure is absolutely fantastic for that $10 price tag. It's a big, cool-looking Jurassic World figure. And it's a species of dinosaurs that we don't see made into plastic form often. So if you are able to get one of these, you will not be disappointed. I highly, highly recommend this figure. And like I said, it retails for $9.99. I'll leave a link in the description for Amazon. Right now, it is temporarily out of stock, but you still have the option to order it. So... Place your order, and hopefully you get this really, really cool looking Pro Ceratosaurus 
really, really love this thing. This is definitely one of my new favorite dinosaurs in the line right now. So that will do it for the review, guys. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Each subscription helps out the channel greatly, and I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you guys for the next one.